Hi everyone, Carmen Broxma here with Choose Joy with Carmen. I am an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator here in Arvada, Colorado. And in today's video, I'm going to be showing you my thoughts and process for creating this month's uh, Craft Roulette episode number 136. And let's just get started with the parameters. And then we will go through it as I show you the card. So the project had to be tic-tac-toe. The colors was violet, red, plus two colors, element, leaves, and random fringe. So <laughs> I got to tell you, this one was hard for me only because I kept coming up with different card ideas and just couldn't even nail it down to what even theme I wanted to do. But finally I decided to go with the Apple Harvest because I could easily get red and but then I was like what's my other color going to be? So and then I liked this over here because it was kind of like the tic-tac-toe kind of look and then I also thought well I'll use this die here because that also has that tic-tac-toe look. So that's the direction I started off on. But I wanted to use in that set the thanks for your kindness. But there really wasn't anything good for the inside of the card. So I chose this pansy patch. And I chose the little things you do make such a big difference for the inside. And then I love this die, this um, stitch greenery. And so I decided I'd use this because that would help with the leaves as well. But it was the colors, right? So I have my red and I have my violet. And then the green for the leaves on the apples. And then this is going to be for the branches, but that's a neutral color. But then I wanted to bring in a yellow. And so then I had to decide, well... How can I bring in the yellow for this card? So what I ended up doing is going out and Googling apples. And I found this picture of apples and I see how it has red and yellow in it. So I decided to kind of go with that look. So keep that in mind when you see my card, what my inspiration what came from. And then, so here are the ink colors that I used and um, my favorite punch for my sentiment. But then I wanted some embellishments, so I just brought out my rhinestones and colored them in with my Stampin' Blend so that I could get the color that I wanted. And then the fringe, I found this ribbon called Frayed Ribbon. So um, I went ahead and used this and I kind of fringed it a little more. So let's pull in the card and let me show you what I created. So here it is and the, um, this is Highland Heather cardstock in the back, even though I have Gorgeous Grape here because I use Gorgeous Grape for the stamping. But I went ahead and did that stitch greenery die in the back there. And then I used that die that I showed you but here are the apples and I did the best I could with my Stampin' Blends to bring in both of those colors to make it look more realistic as I could and then I colored in the leaves at the mossy meadow and here are the embellishments that I colored in with my Stampin' Blends to make them have that purple look and then my sentiment here and here's the fringe ribbon and I you know, it wasn't that fringy, but I just kind of pulled on it and made it as fringy as I could. But I kind of like that, and I just added that to the top. So then on the inside, I just took another piece of that Highland Heather and did the stitch greenery dies on that. Put that little bit of um, stamping there as well, and then stamped my sentiment with the red color. So... I 
I was having such a hard time with this card, and I think it was because I couldn't decide whether I wanted to do fall leaves or if I wanted to do um, poinsettias with because I love red and purple together. So it was just all over the place. Finally, I settled on this, but I think it turned out really cute, and I really like it. So there you go. Thanks for stopping by to see what I created for um, Craft Roulette episode. What, what did I say it was? 136. And hope you enjoyed that. If you did, a thumbs up would be greatly appreciated. If you are new to my channel and want to see other things that I um, put up here on my YouTube channel, subscribing to my channel would be greatly appreciated. And... Um, sharing it and doing all that good stuff. I think it's funny. I was just sitting here looking at my shirt. You know, I never plan this, but somehow I feel like the clothes that I wear seems to match the card. And look at that. It's just like almost perfect, but I didn't plan that. So it was just a fluke of accident. Alrighty, well, I hope you enjoyed that, and we will see you again next week when we see what the wheel has to throw us. Happy crafting, everyone. Bye-bye.